and welcome back to Cookie's Tech and Talk Table. I'm in this video we're talking about installing the two terabyte SSD 2280 M2. Um, this is the WD Blue. This is the SATA version of WD. And I was going to do the unscrewing and then show you how I put it into the system, but I have a different plan of action this time around only because I realize that it is extremely difficult to put the SSD into the finished product of the GPD Win Max. And this is a disclaimer. So guys, I want y'all to be careful because if you're not, you can seriously damage the device and really be upset. So what I did was, when I un first let's start off with the screws. So I'm gonna, as you can see, it's still unscrewed, but I'm gonna show you into the camera right here. So there are two screws that are right here that are the smallest screws within this. I highly recommend um, that you guys get a precision set. This is what I'm using right here. This is the precision set that I'm using. And of course, it's a, it's a Phillips head, so it's a very small Phillips screws that are in the GPD Win Max. But this is my, what I use when I open up my laptop and other small devices. So let me just show you that. Um, and I'm going to close that like that before I put in the rest of the screws. So I already put in the two terabyte, but I want you to show, I want to show the difficulty of what's going on here. So of course there's the two, the two screws that's right there that I took out. And then of course there's all these screws along the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight screws on the back. And then two right here, one to the left of the HDMI and one to the right of one of the USB-C um, ports. Now, once you do that, at, yeah, exactly, that's exactly what's going on. So there is a lot of glue and a lot of tape going on here. There we go. So I had to hold my device like this, literally, as I had to perform surgery to get in the SSD right here. I did have to unscrew one of the fans here and over here and really take my time pulling out the 512 to put in the two terabyte. Now, I literally did all of this while holding it like this. Now, why am I holding it like this? Because something that's new in the completed device, um, since this is an Indiegogo device, right here, it's glued. There is a hinge right here that's glued that prevents me from actually pulling off the top, off of the, the back of the actual device. And if I pull too hard, I know that it will break and I will damage the plastic. So I had to take my time where all this glue, I'm going to try to show you guys, all this glue that's underneath the back right there, all underneath there, is fused to the battery. So I had to use like a device. Do I have, here it is. I had to use this piece right here, this, and you know, gently work off the glue off the battery so I can take the battery and put it off to the side like this. And then while I did that, then I unscrewed the fans and then I removed the 512 SSD right here to input the SATA two terabyte and I really, really, really had to take my time while holding it like this and holding the Phillips screw in another hand, gently inching it inside of the, um, the mount right here. So now that I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna put the battery back, back into its mount right here. But I say all that to say, guys, when you get your devices in the mail from Indiegogo, please, please, please be careful because you can either damage the hinge back there that's fused without a screw, like literally fused without a screw, um, and then break the plastic and then um, be upset. So really uh, take your time on when, after you take the screws out, really working your way around the edges first. Like I'm even still holding it in a particular fixed position because if I don't, um, it will come back down and hit the glue. But 
you know, I still stand by my word that this is a very well-made device. It, it really, really is. I just think that they didn't think through the final parts on how to fully open it and then allow you some type of um, finger room to put in the SSD. The battery here, I'm not sure if I can literally undo and pull out. It really looked like it's fused in um, or it's pieced in in such a way it's pretty difficult. You know, I didn't try pulling out the battery. The battery is neither here nor there for me and I don't think the battery really hindered me in this process, but I do feel that the fact that this hinge back here, the final hinge is fused with glue, that's the part that kind of bothers me because if you're really not careful, you will snap the plastic. So with that being said, the SSD is now inside. As you can see, the SSD is there. Hope this camera's right. Um, I put it in successfully. And now I was able to get everything back where it needs to be. Oh, there we go again. And make sure this battery is back where, where it needs to be here. Put this battery back. And then, of course, close the device. There we go. And it does snap in and place back very easy. I managed to make sure that I didn't mess up the buttons. So everything is in place. Everything is snapped back. Okay, good. I will screw back in a moment. Okay, and now to plug in the device and check to make sure that we got our two terabytes going on. So where's my trusty plug? There we go, right here. All right. Good. And then what I did beforehand was I put the image, the GPD Win image, I put onto this 64, um, 64 gigabyte um, thumb drive. So I highly recommend to go to gpd.hk, the image file along with the drivers for this device and the updates are already on the main website. So make sure that you follow the instructions on putting this on the thumb. I'm going to inject this first. Good. And now I'm going to start the device and get into. Good. So you know this is my first time actually turning it on. <laughs> Ooh, this is exciting. <laughs> um, and I should go straight to the BIOS menu here. And it should show me that. Um, that there's two terabytes in there. Let's see what's going on. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it went straight into... Oh, okay. That's even better. <laughs> it went straight into the image. It's... Wow, okay. I remember with the GPD Win 2, you had to activated. You had to go into the BIOS and tell it to read from the USB 3.0. But I guess it's already activating. So that means the SSD has been installed. I did it correctly. Let's see here. Oh, oh yeah. Image, it's, it's reading right now. Of course, it's in a portrait mode here. So that means I'm going to leave it alone while it does its installation and I'll get back to this in a moment. All right, so now I'm gonna select my language. Let's see where we're at. Okay, let's go down. Okay, still the left clicker, just like the GPD Win 2. Um, of course, we're gonna choose English. Oh, there we go, so we're gonna go next. Hi there, I'm Cortana. I'm here to help. A little sign in here, potential Wi-Fi there, right. we'll have your PC ready. Sorry Cortana, not really interested today. Really, if I could change your name, it would be Regina. Give you a hood sister name. Let's see here. 
raise up the volume a bit. Okay, yep, United States, yeah. Okay. Keep the keyboard the same. I'm kind of just going to skip through all these things, guys, so you can see that the 2 terabyte SSD has been installed correctly. Uh, okay, we're back, and now we're finally loaded Windows onto the 2 terabyte SSD. I'm just going to log right here into the Windows signature so I can confirm that this is exactly what it is. And here we are. Yes. Here we are. We got two terabytes right there. We got it. We got it. Two terabytes. But something I don't really understand here. I have three hard drives here. Oh, okay, I see. I see what happened. It separated it. Okay, it partitioned it, I see. So the image partitioned the two terabyte into a C drive and a D drive. So I have one, one, point 70, uh, one terabyte and 70 gigabytes. I see what they did, I see. Onto the D and then the rest of it is on C. So then that way it's separated. It's not all manufactured in one. Okay, that's cool. And there you have it. That is my installation breakdown on how I installed the two terabyte SSD by Western Digital here. So this is, I want to make sure y'all see the box here. Um, make sure that it's clear so you know this is the right one to get. The M2-2280, where one side has to be completely flat and everything else is on the top. Once again, please, please, community, be careful when opening up your device so that you don't um, wreck the plastic or do any serious internal damage to your, to your item. All right? If anyone has any questions, please leave your comments. I will be answering questions all the time as I'm on my YouTube and will be making continuous videos throughout the week on the GPD WinMax device. If you'd like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'm trying to raise my subscriber base. I'm trying to get better at um, my videos. And please do um, hit the bell for alerts for when I send up new videos. And once again, I will be primarily focusing on martial arts gaming, fighting games. But that does not say I won't be hitting up RPGs and other game reviews in the future. If there's something that you're interested that you want to see that no one else is doing, I'd like to jump in and chime in on that and give that a try and give my review of that game. I will give it some consideration and will be willing to do a review and put it up. Until then, see you next time. This is Fosung Elizabeth Cookie of Cookie's Tech and Talk Table.